really good. And it's about, you know, two guys trying to find their way in LA. Um, How is your experience kind of similar to your characters? I mean, you, I think we got a younger start professionally than our characters did. Yeah. But at the same time, both Mitch and I are, are very, very similar in real life, and that's why we became friends, and that we've had to rebrand and restart a lot of things. And so there definitely has been a moment in both of our lives, and I can speak for both of us when I say this, where we went, wow, like where do you go from here? How do you start over? How do you, how do you bridge that? And it, it's tough to do it by yourself. You do need friends. Um, I have some of my best friends here tonight with me, wherever they might be, who have helped me get through it. and then. Mitch has become one of my genuinely dear friends from this movie in a similar way where we both just have each other's back and want to help each other succeed. And you need that in life. Nobody can do it by themselves. No, I agree with all of that. I mean, it's I can't really relate to the character as far as, you know, wanting to become an actor. But it's true. We all have our low moments and we all have our high moments. And we also have a ton of friends who wish, you know, terribly that they could be working, you know, as much as we have already in the short amount of time that we've been alive. So all we can do is be thankful and try to play that character as well as we can. What is one of the hardest obstacles that you've had to overcome in Hollywood? Oh, man. I mean, frankly, and once again, this is a really strange thing that Mitch is one of the few people who can relate to coming from a kid show in a town like this, it's amazing on one hand, obviously. We have so many fans because of it. You get such an amazing start. I mean, some people pay their dues by flipping burgers, and we got to act, and, and it, had, it was a wonderful. But the stigma that comes with that can be a gigantic obstacle to overcome to get into a mature action drama comedy like this, where there are swear words and sexual things where like you're playing your age. So for to him and I, it's a transition, cute. yeah. Because yeah, people are so used to seeing us as these you know, child actors on, on Disney or Nickelodeon shows. Uh, where we aren't vulgar and we aren't, or the comedy isn't that, you know, so to make that transition into film it and see the people's reaction and hopefully they just let us do it without and giving us a bunch a, of, a you know, mouth, you know what I mean? and I just it's terrible. Just I have the worst camera. language. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. My vocabulary is like six it words. Works. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> There you go. Would you guys say really that, I mean, yeah. I'm like, as you can tell, your chemistry is great. What was it like working with one another and meeting each other for the first time? It is funny. We actually talked about this, how we have so many friends in common, but it was this movie, really the first time we ever hung out. I think ever really met. I was just psyched that you weren't a... I was just really excited about that. We, we, Same. Or, as, as you know, as out. big of a as I thought he would be. Fair. Fair enough. I mean, he's, you know, we're being honest here. No, no, um, but that would be our, this, it was our first time. We showed up at some nice little hotel place to read the script and... Wait a second, 2018, early on, gotta be careful about this. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that sounded weird. Met at a hotel, read the script. Uh, I could make anything dirty. Yeah, no, we, we did. It was a rehearsal space. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was a really small boutique hotel. It was yeah, kinda, it was. Yeah. It was lovely. Uh, he has a psych to have. I have just someone else that we can relate to that was willing to put in the work. He came prepared every single day, which is how I've always tried to live my that's life and true. career. There Very was no, there was no bull and that's like that made it fun because when you get on set and everybody knows their job and they come ready to go. As silly as it sounds, that's actually relatively rare in this town. J James came to set one day and he was so sick. He had food poisoning. He was throwing up, and I was like. Dude, you know, we've been working 18-hour days, non-stop, every single day, no breaks. And I was like, dude, you, you can show up a little late, we can film some of my scenes. He's like, no, I'm gonna be there. And he would come to set, film, you know, go throw up, and then come back and film, and back and forth. And I was like, that's dedicated, boys, you know what I mean? Sucks. Because you can deal with some really actors who would be like, call the day off, you know? Yeah, They'll be like, I'm not coming to, to work. This. Like, everybody gets sick, and, and most other people in any other profession, for the most part, you get sick, you not, you can't just take the day off. And know? I'm the same way, and that's which how, is why exact, we exact work well way. together. I actually gotta give props to Paul Bunch, our director, because it does generally start at the top. So, he acted that way, him and I acted that way, between the three of us, we set a standard for the set, and it always works that way, whereas at the top, if your director or your leads are rude or entitled, they set the it trickles tone. down. Absolutely they set, set the, the tone, tone. So, so... We're lucky that Paul set the tone in such a great, welcoming, fun way, and we were able to just continue that. It's hard to work with actors, so the fact that he's really good at it, it's like, it's amazing. <laughs>